Good morning, Fairmount Youth. Hope you guys had an awesome week. I'm so excited because next week we are going to be meeting in person for community next Sunday morning. If you don't know what community is, it is our Sunday morning youth service where we meet and have fellowship. We have some awesome snacks, play some games, and really dive into God's word with each other. So it's going to be 10 to 11 next Sunday morning, and I really hope to see you all there. All right, our game for this morning is a little bit different. It's called Code Breaker. So basically, you are going to be given three different clues, and each clue has a number answer. So your job is to figure out all three numbers, which is the code to unlock each lock. Let's see how you guys do with round number one. I hope you guys enjoyed that game for this morning. If you got every single one right, let us know in the comment section below. For our devotion this morning, with community starting back up right around the corner, I wanted to talk about fellowship because that's what community is all about. It's the unity. It's being unified with each other in Christ. So this morning, we're going to dive deeper into what fellowship means and why it's so important to our life as Christians and take a look at some scripture that really helps us understand what it means. Our understanding of fellowship actually comes from the New Testament in a Greek word called koinonia. So basically koinonia is the sharing or participating in something with other believers. So really fellowship is the shared union that we have together with other Christians because of Christ. We have that connection through Christ. I'm going to read two verses that really explain the connection that we have in fellowship with Christ and with each other. The first one is 1 Corinthians 1.9. It says, God is faithful, who has called you into fellowship with his Son, Jesus Christ our Lord. The second verse is 1 John 1.3. And it says, We proclaim to you that we have seen and heard, so that you also may have fellowship with us, and our fellowship is with the Father and with his son, Jesus Christ. So through these two verses, we see that fellowship has a really cool dynamic to it. First of all, it has a vertical dynamic between us and God that we have fellowship with Christ because of what he did for, for us on the cross. We have that fellowship with Christ, but we also have a horizontal element of fellowship that we have with each other as believers, as brothers and sisters in Christ, that we are united in Christ and we have fellowship with each other. One of the coolest definitions of fellowship that I've found comes from John Piper. And he says, fellowship is a mutual bond that Christians have with Christ that puts us in a deep eternal relationship with one another. And I, I love this definition because it really shows that our personal relationship with Christ really helps our relationship with other people and that our relationship with other people is meant to go on a deeper level. We're meant to go deep with each other as Christians. That idea of a mutual bond is what I would like to really define our time as a youth ministry together. 
I would love for us as we gather back next week for community in the church to really focus on unity, of being unified um, together. And the great thing about Christian unity is that we are defined by our love for one another. It's so easy to be unified because all it takes is a friendly smile or holding the door open for someone or just being there to talk to someone when it looks like they need someone to talk to. Really, you just have to love one another and it's so awesome to love and to be loved in a community like we have here at Fairmount. So I can't wait to be back in the building next week to work on that unity and that fellowship that we have with one another. So be on the lookout for some announcements this week about some things coming up and I can't wait to see you all back in the building next week. As always, I am praying for you all and I'm always here for you. If you ever need anything, just get in touch with me. All right, have a good week. I'll see you all next week.